Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Boreal Anorak from Lester River Bushcraft. So if this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So I've had my wool anorak from Lester River Bushcraft about nine years now, and I never really did a review on it, but every single time I have it out and it's in another video or I get a picture of it, uh, everybody asks me, that's a great coat, where did you get it? So today we're going to be doing a full review on it. If you've been around the bushcraft community, you have probably seen people in this before. So the wool anorak is kind of like a staple. Everybody's got these things, and there's a pretty good reason for that. They are that good. This is a great design. It's durable, it's warm, it's versatile. I have nothing bad to say about this. So when you look at this, this kind of looks like a military wool blanket, and that's what it is. So these are made from wool army blankets. So these are cut oversized so you can move and you can layer underneath them, but they're not ridiculously oversized where you're just swimming in the thing. I wear an XL on almost everything. This is an XL, and the sleeves are great. So here's the length of it. It comes down just past my hips, probably just to the end of my fingers. So it's a great length. So this is a hooded garment. So it's got a nice size hood on it. It fits up just fine uh, if I was warmer and I was wearing a baseball cap or with a stocking cap. And you can see, I can kind of see out the sides. So this is not a huge enveloping hood that you really can't wear when you're hunting. So this neck is flared open with a gusset. And this is an anorak, so there is no zipper. This is just a straight pullover. But what this gusset does is it comes up high enough where when it gets really cold, you can tuck your nose down. You can also pull these shock cords and close the hood up a little bit as you tuck down. That comes in really handy when it starts getting cold out. And then you can also close this gusset up with shock cord. There is snaps on the cuff, and I don't ever use them. I don't ever have to uncuff it to slide my hands on and off. Uh, I've snapped these when I got them, and I haven't touched them since. So if you remember, I said these were made from wool U.S. Army blankets. Well, this one's actually got U.S. on the inside of the hood. So the bottom hem has a shock cord as well, so you can tighten that up if you're in an extremely windy situation. The kangaroo pocket, I have uh, D-loops on each side. So you can use that to tether items to you, so you can have a ferro rod tethered. You can use this for mittens in Arctic conditions. Inside, there is a, there's a zippered pouch right here. So this sit, the, the zippered pouch fits flat against you. So you can put your car keys or something that's pretty vital that you don't want to lose in the woods. And the front half, I've got three pocketed dividers. So these dividers, you can keep uh, your cell phone just slides in there, a knife, barrel rod, extra gloves, a match safe, anything of that nature fits in here and there's no risk of losing it out of the side of your pocket. So these are not always easy to get. Lester River Bushcraft has them on their site from time to time. They run out of stock. These are made by Empire Wool and Canvas Company. So these are all handmade in the USA absolute stellar quality so this is an expensive item but this is something that you are going to buy once and get to use it pretty much for the rest of your life super durable there is a reason this is the cold weather standard in the outdoor community so hopefully this video answers some questions i get a lot of comments on this jacket it is that nice this is probably something you need if you live in an area that doesn't get cold enough to really justify a wool anorak like this move north that's all i can say about it Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.